Hello, everybody. For the archive viewers, 10, 15 minutes skip ahead before we get to the actual gameplay, but for everybody else, hi. <laughs> no, I have been busy today. What's worse, Mighty Number no. Nine or Sonic Lost World? Um, that's actually a really hard question, just because they both are—they both have parts that are really, really well thought out and feel correct, and then they have parts that are just horribly, horribly designed. It's frustrating. Like, I think both of them have the same flaws of having such high points that keep you playing, but such low points you can't help but notice them. It's frustrating. They, they both come out about, like, purely mediocre. Two five three. Your friend asked you to ask me if I like cheese onion bagels. Okay. Uh, that's an interesting question to pass along. Um, I'm not big on onion. Period. So no, I, I can actually honestly say I've never had one. Uh, Jetfire, I have one Wing Gundam Zero. I don't know what version. It's, I don't think it's the proto version. Uh, I don't know. Like, you're, you're talking to someone who has bought two Gundam models in the last decade. Uh, far, if it keeps crashing, you gotta refresh. Like, everything on this end's working really nice. Thoughts on movie Hot Rod? I shared that before. It doesn't look like Hot Rod. It looks like an evil Bumblebee. I mean, what's the point of using the character's name if you're going to completely wreck the character that it's supposed to be named for? I mean, at least if you're coming up with your own name, there might not be, you know, you know, you won't get attention for it, but at least you're creating something different. See, um, what else here? Did I ever cancel a pre order for a Glios drop? The only time I get pre order is from direct email. Like, Glios doesn't typically have pre order. Like, it just goes live, you know? 9 30 rolls around, and here's the new toys. Get what you want. The only time I get pre order is directly from the producers when I have the privilege to purchase such things ahead of time. And in that case, no. Because I usually just get to pick whatever I want and whatever I can afford at the time. Okay, James, if that's not the final design for Hot Rod, then they're pulling the exact same thing they pulled with the first movie, Megatron. People going, oh god, they absolutely hate that. We have to do something. So now we we quickly have to scrap around. They'll throw a, like a yellow fin on him and put more red in the design and change up the head, something like that. But like, it, I guarantee you, that's what they intended that hot rod to be. And if they're going, if they say, well, it's not the final design. Well, then why'd you make press material based on it then? They, I, I promise you, that was the final design. But the outrage was probably to the point where they had to go, you know what, we need to go fix something. Yeah, I saw... I saw the SIC... The SIC... SOC. Soul of Chogokin Megazord. Daijujin, technically. It looks really good, except it's still in, like, individual Zords, and, of course, everyone wants to see what the Megazord looks like. 
I will be thrilled if it has articulation, which knowing Solo Chogokin, it will. Because all I've ever asked, all I have ever asked is, can you please give me the original Megazord with articulation? I want to pose it. I want it to do, I want it to actually like look like it does in the show and pose like it does in the show. That would be really, really good for me to have. Oh, have I ever canceled a Transformer because there's something I wanted on a Glyos drop? Um, not particularly. If I cancel a Transformer, it's because something else took priority. Or if I cancel anything, it's because something else took priority. You know, um, Hasbro's Computron dropped a little bit faster than I expected, so I did drop one of my pre-orders at HLJ to help cushion that blow. But beyond that, no. Like, Glyos, I generally find, as long as you know the right places, you can you can go back and get recent stuff for pretty much retail cost. Like, that's a really friendly community to go back and get older figures from. I know a lot of people who are not going to scalp you or upcharge you just because you missed out on something. I saw, I saw there's a reissue of Masterpiece Soundwave. I hope... Like, I don't know how much, like, Hasbro Asia exclusives like that go for, but I'm hoping it's affordable for me. I'm so annoyed. I'm still, like, so frustrated that I never got that set. I love that it's the American set, so it has all the cassettes. Well, all the, all the cassettes sans Rat Bat, which, like, this would be, like, a perfect time. Hey, look, Hasbro, you know, like, Hasbro Asia exclusive. You know, you know, with bonus rat bat. I, I know the old Megazord wasn't that mobile, but, you know, he, his elbows could bend, his knees could bend. That's what I ask. Well, uh, will I be streaming Fall of Cybertron next? I don't know what's going to come next. A part of me wants to do Fall of Cybertron while the last game's fresh in my head, and the other part of me wants to do something different. Like, I'm in the mood to, di to move away from, you know, just for one game to move away from my usual stuff. So, like, Sonic, Mega Man, Transformers, we kind of put that on break and try something else. I'm not sure what, though. I guess if we finish tonight, I'll have a couple days to think it. A Megazord I would like, Time Force or Space. If if I had my choice, like, my favorite old Megazord was the Shogun Megazord. Like, that's my hope. It's like, the Legacy Ninja Megazord is going to be cool. I want the Shogun Megazord. That was, that, that was like the... Badass Megazord for me as a kid. Am I am I excited for Titan's Return Trypticon? I didn't vote for him. I voted for Scorponok. I wanted a Scorponok, and he made more sense in my head. Uh, I'm kind of excited for it. Like, I'm not sure how much toy that thing is going to have, considering. One, I don't expect it to be as, like, solid as Metroplex or Fort Max because they're probably only going to get to use this toy one time. You know, Trypticon only had one remold slash repaint, and it wasn't much of one, and it was Japan only. Um, the set, it's, like, the figure itself, I'm trying to imagine how much, like, action figure playability you can get out of a big T-Rex. Not a whole lot. So I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. Like there's some things that I would that I'd like to see done. Like you know if they can work some articulation into the tail, I'd be impressed. Thoughts on the Sonic Boom video games? Um, games are meant to have fun, so it's hard to qualify those things as games. They're more like 
implements of torture? I don't know. Sega needs to get its act together. Stop rushing Sonic games. That's all I want you to do. Ironically, take your time, go slow on a Sonic game, and make sure it's good. This is why Sonic started losing out to Mario. Nintendo makes sure every Mario game gets as much polish and work as they could possibly put into it before release. Sega just cranks them out and throws them out there. I like the okay. I had my Shogun Megazord. The Shogun Megazord is one of the Megazords. Is the only Megazord I really regret selling. I sold off a lot of my Megazords when I started going to conventions. You know, like before, uh, before YouTube was doing well enough for me to pay for Metrocon and places like that. I really miss that toy. So if I could get one that's a little bit more show accurate, you know, uh, doesn't have all the goofy stickers and has the original designs on it. And has a white arm instead of a pink one. That would make me very happy. <laughs> how do I feel about Pokemon Go? Ask my legs how I feel about Pokemon Go. Every day is leg day when you play Pokemon Go. I have been on my bike every day for at least an hour ever since Pokemon Go came out. And there's part of me that can actually feel, like, the difference just because, like, I was... I'm a computer nerd. I sit here and I leave YouTube videos running while I work on scripts or edit videos or whatnot. And I'm always, like, just, like, staring at a monitor somewhere. Go gives me a little bit of incentive. It makes it fun to kind of ride around and see the neighborhood. And I see, like, I found houses around the neighborhood I never knew were there. And they look, and like... Wow, we've got a, like a neighbor with like really impressive artwork outside their house. That's strange. But the the game is a fickle, fickle mistress. So yesterday I'm playing the game. Uh, Abra shows up, and I'm like two Abra away from a Kadabra, and they are really rare to find around here. So, uh, and this is when I was at home, so I know it's like really close by. So I spin around the block. It takes me way too long to find the thing. I find it. Barry, Ultra Ball, one shake, breaks out, runs. This is like after 10 minutes of riding around like an idiot. See, yesterday there was a Rhyhorn I couldn't find, a Lickitung I couldn't find, a Charmander I couldn't find, a Vol two Vulpixes I couldn't find. And then, out of nowhere, uh, leaving the grocery store last night, Venusaur I, ha I now currently own the weakest Venusaur ever on record. And today kind of worked out the same way, because I, I was on the road trying to... I, I went out to get a Vulpix because one showed up in the area, like, again, within my block. So I do the same thing. I leave, I run around the block, I kind of pinpoint where it's going to go down... I checked my phone, no internet. Apparently my phone glitched and it did not switch over to my 4G when I left the house. So all of a sudden I'm st I have uh, I have pretty much spotted where the freaking Vulpix is and I cannot get my phone to work. And by the t by the time the phone rebooted and everything it was gone, it was all lost cause and then today I hatched a Jinx, so. <laughs> like, my karma in the game is, like, f like swinging wildly back and forth. It's fun, though. And it's actually a good, it's a good excuse for me to get out and get some exercise. Because, like, I was... I, I could remember being, like, really sweaty and panty just trying to get down to the park where all the Pokestops and gyms are and just... This is about as much as I can do. Uh, you know, it's all I could do to get down there, just because, like, with my work being on the computer, it's a very sedentary lifestyle. N and today I was out for an hour and a half, like, 
down the park, around the park a bunch of times, back up home, back the other way. You know, all the way back, almost all the way back up to the grocery store on bike. All the way back, and I still, I'm, I'm feeling okay still. Like, my legs are sore. If, if my legs are still for too long, like, you know, after a two-hour stream sitting here. You know, so. It's been fun, though. Okay, so... <laughs> That's me rambling about the Pokemon game that, you know, most of the world has been obsessed with for the last month. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and start up. <laughs> and Cameron is coming to Metrocon next year. Do hope you enjoy. Like, I hope I have, like, there's one thing about my videos for Metrocon. I hope I don't overhype it for anybody and they get there and go, man, this place sounds kind of sucks. I love the place. So digital... Okay. I want to tell Digital Brave that's uh, unfortunate, but a little bit rude to ask for, but I, he can't hear me. So. And Chris caught a sand slash. Ugh. I want Sand Slash so much. I want Sand Slash so much, but I've only seen one. I've only ever seen one Sand Shrew around here. My favorite Sonic game still probably continues to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I have a lot of really, really good memories of that game. Um, how is the sound to everybody? Because right now, in my headphones, the game is really loud. Kobaxite wants a Jigglypuff. The only Jigglypuff I've ever had, I hatched. Like, a like... Team Instinct really does suit me, because most of my best stuff I've gotten through egg hatching. I don't have the luck. Like, I don't have the luck to actually find this stuff in the wild, so... I even hatch eggs and make them come to me. Alrighty. So, as you can see here, we've only got two levels. Which is kind of why I let the pre-show go a little bit longer than usual. On the other hand, this means uh, there's not going to be a whole lot to game here. Unless this takes just an exorbitant amount of time, which it might. See, I also noticed that I'm about 100 flicky short of unlocking the last level, so we might have to revisit another stage just to build up on little animals. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> James joined the <laughs> James joined the Omanite cult thanks to an egg hatch. I've seen an I saw an Omanite in the wild when I was out with Danielle and it came up on her phone but it didn't come up on mine and I you cannot I cannot describe the rage I had. Uh Chris, if you want to send me pictures, um um Let's see, the best option is probably to get me through Facebook, like facebook.com forward slash TJ reviews. Uh, pretty much every messenger I have is kind of closed off to friends only, but that, w but Facebook I leave open. Facebook, anyone can message me. Okay. Oh, storyline. Oh, I'm getting tired of you guys. Don't Same here. Man, that's my deal. Give up now and join your friend. Tails? I am Locutus of Borg. Man, when I get my 
hands on you guys. We promise you will be happy in our service. Resistance is futile. I'll never serve you. I was hoping you'd say that. Destroy Sonic. Take it from here. Oh, never mind the cyborg implants. Those will just fix themselves. Okay, now I've only... I've got absolutely no lives here. So, uh... I'm probably gonna die very, very quickly. Uh, 253, the leader, is played by Travis Willingham. Um... He is part of Critical Role on Thursday nights and currently does Knuckles in Sonic Boom. He's also married to Laura Bailey, who I've interviewed. Which means he was also at MetroCon, except I didn't get to interview him. Okay, let's go. I get the feeling I'm going to need the lives, so let's just get the, uh, let's get the game over out of hand. It's not locking on to the chickens. Like, I'm trying to lock on to those little chicken bombers there, and it won't let me. Oh, wait. Yay! I don't know what I got. Just saw that. Okay, um... <laughs> I've completely used up my items. All I have is a blue shield. Okay, can't... Whoa! Okay, uh... Um... Optimus Philip, if punch counterpunch was done correctly, then I'd be fine with it in any toy line. Whoa! No 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 <laughs> Ow. Oh, this is awkward. This is really awkward to control. Whoa! No. <laughs> That's really awkward to control. Whee! We're gonna be here a while. Do, do Transformers still have GPS? Um, what's the most recent one I can think of that had it? Um, I'm trying to th I'm trying to think what the most recent Transformer was that we know. Oh, there's this. Uh, oh, okay. I, I was pretty sure I was dead there. Whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Okay. Why did it catch up? I was so. Far ahead of it. Not fair. Not fair. What? No flowers. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, Super Mario World much? Oh no! I was trying. I was trying to catch up. I was, I was trying to get rings. What? No flowers. Ah! I gotta stop going. Oh! Oh, we killed each other. <laughs> what? No flowers. Okay. I'm getting too aggressive for starters cuz I keep trying to uh Yeah, I keep attacking her when she is like really close to the top to uh the top. My rebound is sending me into the spikes. Oh, she blew up. Whoa. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, uh, yet the stop and the stop and go is so close. Oh. The wall run is still really awkward. I still don't. Not again. Oh, I have to do this for all. Do I have to do this for all six of them? so many ways I can say oh come on it's areas like this where the idea behind the game really confuses me because there's because uh, there's so much about this section that really wants me to rush but so much of it that also really wants me to take my time and be careful like I, I feel like the stage design is honestly at war with itself No, I didn't get the checkpoint. Hang on. Uh, okay, where are you?
Okay, it's not locking on when I jump at him, so... How do I get an attack off? Not like that. Favorite versions of Prime and Megatron. I guess on Prime, I'm always going to go G1. No, uh, I, ke I keep trying for the kick because I can't lock on, so I keep trying to get the kick. And the kick doesn't work either. For Megatron... Megatron? Probably the IDW one that's going on right now. Like, I honestly think it's a really fascinating take on the character, and all they did was really... Okay. Okay, didn't tell me that part. Coin, 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 uh, ring, 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 ring. Oops. Oh, How do I do that? No, no, I actually want to see what this is. That feels like something I should be able to, like, light dash. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, it tells you how to hover with this, but it doesn't tell you that you can light dash with it. That's a little bit ch cheap. Oh. No! No! Um... And once again, we get to a point where it needs me to use a skill that the game hasn't told me how to use. Like, I would un I understand, like, apparently I have to turn tutorial on myself. Or I have to manually activate tutorials when they come up. There's... When it's game vital stuff... Don't make it an option, just... Have it come up when you need it to come up. I need it to tell me these very important things. Oh. Nope. Nope, not even bothering. Oh. And I actually need these. Ah, missed. Missed my jump. No! Just making sure I actually got a few rings. I really shouldn't be trying this. I should just be like, okay, we'll go get Flickies in another stage. But they're right here. It's really not that hard. I just have to be careful. This, on the other hand. Next fortress. This is going. You are a waste of my time, Sonic. 
I agree. I actually agree with you. This is a waste of our time. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, oh no! Just as I gained a little bit of hope. Okay, so I. It's been a while, so I kind of. I didn't mean to get that. I. I swear I didn't mean to get that. I actually wanted to go through the stage. Okay, how do I beat you now? Uh, apparently I just hit you twice. That's how I beat you this time. Oh! Uh, that's different. Nope. I caught your clue. Oh, can't do it on these. It's only those red ones. Has anyone ever played a game called Catherine? Whoa! Yeah, that is definitely Catherine. Except the falling blocks actually have an intent in this one. Okay, so now that I actually know how my how I actually get my way through this. I forgot that I beat the other three in another stage. So actually this is This is all we have to do. So yeah, Catherine is this puzzle type game where you have to climb this like infinite staircase of blocks. And for the boss levels, the boss levels of the game, you... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 uh, oh, that's too close. For the boss levels of the game, you're climbing this stack of blocks while something that huge starts chasing after you. Like, that was, like, straight out, out of, Ka out of Catherine. Look it up. It's kind of a twisted game. It's, it's a weird game, but, like, that definitely, it, it really did. Ow. Oh, that ran out quick. Alright. No flowers. Nope. I only bring flowers for a lady. Oh. Oh, oh my oh, come on. Ugh. There we go. That was actually really close. It's really hard. Like, it's so easy to bounce off of her. Um... James, I have no idea. Like, I'm really not looking at the chat right now because there's a lot going on here. Uh, 
Oh, I hate that. It tried to boost me right off the side. Um, the plan for TJTV is I have no plan. Like, I've said it before in the stream, it's worth saying again. TJTV takes so much time that a lot of times I can either do two weeks of videos that actually, uh, like, I can either spend two weeks on videos that actually make me money, or I can spend two weeks on a single, uh, I can't get up there. Ugh. I hate the stupid wall run mechanic. I hate the stupid wall run mechanic. Either give me a wall jump or give me a wall run. One or the other. Don't mix up the controls. But yeah, TJTV is such a... It's a, such a hard video to make. And because Blip shut down and Dailymotion and Vimeo won't let me monetize something like that, I don't see a single dime for all that work. And I hate to make it about money, but I kind of have to because I still have to view this video thing as a business. Like, it's still... Like, like I want to be able to just do what you guys want me to do and the stuff you enjoy the most, but at some point, uh, it's still what pays my bills. Everyone has low expectations about Sonic. It's not just you. Uh, try not to go. Come, I'm trying not to go through them. Uh. Oh, this again. Back to him. Thoughts on Mega Man X8? Um, a step in the right direction after Mega Man X7, but I think at the, that point the reputation of the series was already too damaged. I wasn't even at the top yet, and the lava rushed up out of nowhere. No, I think where Mega Man X8 went wrong was trying to move past Sigma and create a new, no, create like a new big bad with uh, Lumine. No, ah, I couldn't get. That's hard to aim. Like it. Um, okay, there we go. Like, like, oh, okay. For a second, I didn't think I got the second one. I kind of like like <laughs> the ring sound is actually kind of neat when it's when you get so many at once. It's actually like really satisfying.
Uh, that was clearly not 220 rings I just spat out. See, now here's the thing. I don't know what the last section of this fight look. I don't know what the last section of this stage looks like. Cuz like it gave me it gave me the cheat wing as soon as I got there. So I compl I completely skipped it by accident. So this is whole new territory now. Okay, good thing that spring was there. I didn't know how I was going to get back around. Whoa, that's a lot of one-ups. So close. It's give, this is actually giving me Castlevania vibes, because every, like, classic Castlevania game has a clock tower stage where you have to climb gears like this as platforms. And, just like this game, those stages are always some of the most annoying in the game. Hit the wrong button. <sighs> you are a waste of my time, well, if I can keep getting that one up, then I've got as many ch chances as I need to do this. And then eventually the wing will show up and I'll just skip the whole thing. Okay, yeah, there's a hidden platform behind it. Like, one of those, uh, blocks is a fake panel. I might try for that next time. Nope. Oh, I got crushed. I got crushed. I didn't realize that was lava. Yeah, respawning one-ups are some of the nicest things for a game to offer. Especially on a more frustrating section like this. Huh. I couldn't find it. All the all the blocks there were solid. It might be further down. Of course, I don't know where else it would be. Then again, uh Whoa, oh, come on! It made me overshoot the whole thing! Thoughts on Titan Return, Bumblebee? It looks okay. I mean, it's a very G1. It looks like a... Oh, wait, hang on. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, and I run right into lava.
Ah, uh, uh. oh, man, I think I feel like I sprained my thumb trying to get to that one. Well, the spin dash is just straight up hurting him this time. Oh, come on! Come down here. I need him to come down because he's... He's burning... He's burning up all my uh, platforms I'm gonna, I'm gonna need here soon. Nope. Uh, this is difficult. Just the idea of this is difficult. Let's put it into this. Okay. Now we covered what this part was ripping off. This is not a Mario ripoff. This is This is a game called Catherine. All right, come on up. It's actually a really intimidating fight. Because you've got to sacrifice your own platforms in order to actually damage them. Whoa. Didn't know he could do that. Ooh, I got him. There we go. Okay, I actually like that boss fight. That's actually a creative use of that ground pound attack. Okay. Oh, and apparently, yeah, cyborg implants just kind of get popped off. It is off. Who could have done that? I needed some alone time to supercharge my mech after you got me past the set. Faking my death was the perfect way. And now, my ultimate weapon is complete. Oh, what a surprise. I can rule the world. Pity about the damage done down there, but there's still enough left for me to conquer. The only thing that's gonna get conquered is your face, Eggman! Alright, Sonic, one one of these days we're gonna sit down together and we'll explain exactly why uh, that makes no sense. Okay, well, I'm still 50 flickies or so. 52 flickies to be exact. Short. So we'll do Sky Road. We'll, maybe Sky Road will give me enough. Um. Uh, Super Mario Coin Heaven. Wow. Some of this stuff just ain't even subtle, ladies and gentlemen.
Donkey Kong Country. Ah, uh, you're gonna ask me to do that. All bro, I have not watched the Nostalgia Critic in years. There's a lot of reasons why I haven't watched the Nostalgia Critic in years, but let's just say... I don't want to. <laughs> that makes it easy. Ah... Uh. It's a lot to avoid now. Thoughts on South Park? I could say the same thing. I haven't watched in years. What happened to the plastic addict? Life. I've got big, I hate to say it, but Plastic Addict takes a long time to make, and I've got higher priorities than making fun of bad toys. Like, I want to get back to it, but Plastic Addict has never had a schedule, ever. It has always been made when I can make it. Right now, it's really, really hard for me to make it. So, I hate to keep you guys waiting, but hey, I, I don't like how little Plastic Addict I've been able to do. Trust me, I'm more upset over it than you are. Man, this goes on a long time. Yay! 38! That didn't even give me the 52 I needed. How's my grandma? Mm. At 99 years old, there's only so healthy you can be, but for now, she's okay. She's stable. You know, we've, uh... I haven't had any, like, real incidents with her in a long time, so that's good. Okay, um... I'm 14 flicky short of actually being able to go to the final level. I need some place where I can get them. Uh, I don't remember which ones. I'm just gonna go to the first stage. Why not? Let's just listen to me. I only need a few, so all I have to do is beat enough badniks. <laughs> I think that's enough right there. Isn't there a circus tent somewhere in the map? Um, it's not a circus tent. There's a casino area. Which kind of looks like it. it's uh, more carnival themed, I guess, but... This is so much easier than the rest of the stuff I've been dealing with. This is almost relaxing compared to the other levels. It really should have that feel too. Like a first level in the Sonic game should be just cruise along and enjoy the green scenery and uh, the speed of the whole thing. Yeah. 
And just like that. You have to collect red rings for the circus tents to appear. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm, uh... That's the one thing about uh, the game I haven't really been able to focus on. Since it's, since it's streaming, like, the goal is to complete through the storyline. I've not really done the red rings, as you can see, by my complete lack of red rings in any stage. What Computron am I getting? U.S. or Japan? Yes. I've already paid for Hasbro's Computron. I'm just waiting for, and I paid. I bought it at Big Big uh, Big Bad Toy Store, and BBTS is also where I have my pre-order in on the uh, Takaras. I'm getting both of them. Alrighty. Lava Mountain. Whee! This is kind of a contrast compared to the last level. Okay, let's see. What can I do here? Okay, that's easy enough. That's easy. That's a little bit difficult. I hope I get some extra rings at some point. This is, uh... Yeah, I tried to kick the arm last time. There, that disables him. Okay, no, I need a multi-target. Yeah, okay, that was all spin attack. I didn't need to do the kick on any of those. And because this is Eggman, he doesn't realize that this attack pattern didn't work last time. That's the only part that really feels difficult right now. Everything else is going pretty smoothly. Of course, now it sounds like he's going into another phase. Yep. See? That's a little bit trickier, Eggman. Oh, and now these are going faster, but still easy. Whoa! <laughs> See, you caught me off guard there. Whoa! Whoa! Never mind. Okay, you learned. You learned. Yeah, the reason I'm getting both Computrons is because, well, A, I'm a huge, huge Technobot guy. But also because both of them offer me things the other one doesn't. Like, Hasbro's is the one that's... Like, Hasbro's is the one that's giving me the, uh, the orange afterburner I need. That's the one that's giving me the more, uh, the toy-accurate look to some of the... 
uh, some of the characters. You know, especially uh, Scattershot. Meanwhile, Takara's is giving me the molding I want, especially in the combiner head. It's giving me the extra weapons I need, and uh, it looks like their version of Nose Cone is going to be like, oh, I didn't let, oh, that was my mistake. I didn't let all three build up. It looks like their version of Nose Cone is going to be the single best combiner war toy because I already love that mold. And that has so many accessories to it on top of that. All right, disable the leg. Three. And one to the cockpit. And let this build up. Hitting it yet again. Okay. Here's where the difficult pattern starts. Weave left and right. That's pretty that's pretty smooth. This is faster and he's going to go through three of them. Now, what's he going to do here? Oh. Oh, uh, it didn't give me the third. I have to do it all again. And now I don't, I'm out of rings. Yeah, now I'm watching the animations on the hands so I can... Uh, Ooh. Shield came in handy. There we go. Three. I get him. Eggman's blasting off again. Yes, Combiner. Yeah, Combiner War Strafe does have a new head. He actually has a lot of new parts. Like I said, very cartoonish. This is the scene you never got in Final Fantasy VII. Just pouring all the life energy back into the planet. Are Combiner Wars internally compatible? I'm not even sure what that means. Like springtime's come early. <laughs> Thanks to you and Tails. Well, I would have wrapped this up sooner, but eh, what are you gonna do? Uh, ungrateful you know, prick. After a day like today, I can enjoy a nap on some fresh green grass. <sighs> and okay, tree made of blocks. Just notice that. And end of the game. <laughs> I expected, uh, oh, there we go. I was expecting music, please. Okay, so what are we thinking about this game? It, 
it's uh it does come across a lot more like um it comes across more like mighty number no. nine where i kind of explained it earlier it has some really good points like yes it is pretty shamelessly ripping off mario galaxy both with it, with its gravity mechanics and its stage design and a lot of the uh a lot a lot of the platforming elements there's some actual signs of good things in this game like it handles certain things well i think i think of the 3d sonic games i've played this one probably handles sonic speed the best sonic feels fast and it seems to work where the game doesn't work is it introduces a lot of new mechanics and does very little to explain how they can actually be used. Like, I, at no time does the game tell you how to do the multi-lock, the kick attack. It doesn't tell you how to do the wall jumps properly. Uh, yeah. Apparently there's tutorials. None ever came up for me. And the game can't even tell you, hey... This is where the tutorials are. Like, the game should just tell you how to do these vital things. And it doesn't even tell you where to find how to do those vital things. Which is frustrating. And it also had the same thing that Mighty Number no. 9 did, where the stage designs early on seemed to work, but the farther you got into the game, the stages didn't feel difficult, they just felt cheaper. You know, almost like, almost like the only way they knew how to make it harder was to just make it more unfair. Like, there was a lot of stuff in there that I just kind of felt like, okay. Like, in a good game, when it's difficult and when you're losing a lot, you should feel like, okay, that was me not understanding that part. That was me hitting the button at the wrong time. That was me going in unprepared. That was me rushing. I died a lot in this game to stuff that felt like... Okay, that wasn't my fault. Granted, some stuff was my fault, but not all of it. So yeah, um, the game is perfectly mediocre. As much good as bad. And yeah, go play Sonic Colors if you want a good 3D Sonic game. He's, he rose from the grave! Get out of here before my day gets any worse. Uh, why can't we tell him about his mustache? Uh, I think it's better to wait until he separates our heads. Then you can tell him and get all the glory. Great, thanks! What's wrong with my mustache? <laughs> He fell all that way and the only thing that got damaged was his mustache? Really? Hmm. You know... How many of these are there? Three? Four? Four? Hidden... I didn't know about this! I didn't know about this! Okay, um, I had prepared a second game. I had prepared something else to move on to, like, as soon as we got through that stage. I had no idea this was here. Uh, I'm not sure I would call that Eggman fight tough. I've had harder battles against Eggman. Like... 
Honestly, I expected that fight to have a third stage to it. Ultimately, what I got was your typical, you know, hit him correctly three times and you win. And he only really got harder. He only really got hard for the first one because the pattern was pretty predictable the first time through. Nope, curiosity. I want to see what the hidden world is. Oh. Okay. What? What is... What is happening? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm doing the thing I should be doing. <laughs> oh, it's timed. Oh, that's not fair. Does this really look like the bonus stages from the first Sonic? I would argue against that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here or what it's accomplishing. Yeah, I... I'm genuinely lost. Like, it would be one thing if I had to use these cubes to, like, turn the whole thing blue or something like that. But it doesn't give me enough time to do something like that. The enemies themselves go down pretty fast. I'm I'm in the weirdest techno rave right now. Uh, thoughts on Combiner War Wheeljack? Uh, the mold itself, not great. Which, uh, Takara's after- Takara's light speed is gonna use that mold, which is, eh. Um, the Hasra version is just lacking so much paint, it's really hard to say that's a- You know, it's really hard to like that toy. I wonder if the kick would send him farther. Nope. I'm better with the multi-target. This game. Every time I think this game cannot get more bizarre. Does anyone, like, know how long this goes? Like, is this just... infinite? Thoughts on Zelda Twilight Princess? Um, I know it's kind of a dark horse. I know it's kind of a dark horse in the Zelda franchise. I really like Twilight Princess. Like, 
I kept meaning to get the original. I kept meaning to get like the HD remake, but I never got around to it. Far, I don't really have anything set up for Minecraft right now that I could do for like a project on stream, and I'm not really ready to go back to the the Emerald Spire yet. I'm genuinely, I'm just genuinely kind of curious. This is, I'm curious as to what this is about and what I am doing. The music is speeding up. Um, I wouldn't call the Zeddy bosses really repetitive necessarily. Like, they all had their tricks to them, just... They just never struck me as Sonic characters, that's the thing. Ay, ay, ay. Jetfire! You know what? Okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of having fun. This is bizarre and weird, and I'm kind of enjoying it. But I have people yelling at me to move on and stop. So, I'm sorry. I'm enjoying myself. I'll quit. I'll quit. I don't want to have fun anymore. <laughs> The only other thing I could actually do in this game is the boss rush that was back at the beginning. And I really don't feel like the Zeddy anymore. Yeah. Tell you what. Here's what I'm going to... Okay. Where is the GoBot episode on Daily Motion? I uploaded every TJTV to up to Daily Motion. If it's not on Daily Motion, then Daily Motion took it down, and that means there's no way for me to host it. No, 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 no. Like honestly, Okay, honestly, yeah, I was kind of getting a kick out of that stage. But if but like if you if you guys aren't if you guys aren't going along with it, then I I don't I don't have to keep doing it. Like I'm trying to entertain you guys here. Otherwise, I'd just be playing whatever game I wanted off stream. Um, uh, tell you what, give me a few minutes, uh, I'm gonna cut the stream off here, so this way, uh, YouTube separates this stream from what I do next, and I will, I will turn the stream back on, it'll be a different game, and I'll finish out my time for the night. So, about another 30 or 40 minutes or so, we'll do it, for another 30 or 40 minutes, we'll do a different game. Did that all work? Okay. So, give me five minutes, and I'll start the stream back up with something different. <laughs> 